I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a recent test paper on vectors and application. The idea here is to analyze the mistakes and avoid them. So the topic for my video is common mistakes to avoid when considering angle. Now I'm sharing with you a student's test paper which is fairly good. Uh, here are a few questions in this test paper. You can actually pause the video, copy these questions. Uh, some of them are correctly answered and answer the others. Okay, so here are six questions on the very first page. I would like you to copy all these questions. Now, in another video, I'll take up all the questions in this particular test paper, solve them one by one, the way they should be solved. That's the whole idea. Now you can copy question number 7, 8, 9, 10. These are on the application. Uh, you know, the dot product gives you the work done and the cross product gives you the torque. Uh, so resolution of forces, finding tension in the cord. And then the next page here, we have got three questions on this page. Uh, resolution of forces and velocity is the main topic here. Then you need to find the angle between the diagonals, which is question number 13. The last page has again three questions based on dot product and cross product. So I hope you have got all these questions. Now, there is one major mistake which the student did because of which she lost many marks. We'll talk about this now. What I observe here is that many times we do not know which angle to use. Which angle to use. Uh, let me take three examples for you. And um, then be easy for me to make you understand. And I would like you to avoid such mistakes. So first example, I will consider when we are going to add vectors right so let's see which angle to take when you add vectors which angle to take when you do dot product and which angle to take when you do cross product right so that is critical to understand so this is this is what we are going to discuss here so when you are adding vectors, normally in the test, you will say, let's say we are given two vectors here. One vector is kind of like this. The other one is kind of like this. We are going to keep things very simple. Okay, so we say we have unit vectors. So, so we, the question is add unit vectors. with angle of 60 degrees okay so so these are by unit vectors let's say a and b and the angle between them here is 60 degrees now when you add these vectors how are you going to do it well very simple case is that you have to actually draw the vector b putting this tail on the head kind of like this and now the resultant will be kind of like this. This is vector A plus vector B. So when you add them, which angle do you take? That is what common mistake is. Is it 60 degrees? The answer is no. You have to put these vectors tail to tail. We know that is 60 degrees, correct? This is 60 degrees. However, the angle which you have to take is right there. You have to apply the cosine law, right? And the angle is 120 degrees. Do you understand? So that should give you the result of A plus B. Okay, so you are going to apply the cosine law to get this done. Once, so first step is, of course, to apply cosine law. Find a plus b vectors 
And uh, second is you to also find this angle theta, right, with one of these vectors. And then you apply sine law to find the angle theta. So when you add vectors, you have to write answer for both. I mean the magnitude, right? So let me say the magnitude of A plus B, which is right there, and then the angle which resultant or A plus B makes with angle A, right? So, so I hope this point is well taken. Common mistake is students will take while applying cosine law angle 60 degrees. Correct? That is the mistake. Right? So here of course let me write down here now. So A plus B magnitude is going to be A square so magnitude of A square plus magnitude of B square minus 2 times magnitude of A times magnitude of B and cos of angle 120 degrees not 60. Correct? And here we know both are 1, so because 1 plus 1 minus 2 cos of 120 degrees will give you the magnitude. Right? So let's finish it off. Okay, I should have written square here. So, so the magnitude of A plus B will be square root of this, correct? So it is 1 plus 1 minus 2 times cos of 120 degrees which is equals to 3 and we have to do square root of 3 right so what we get here is square root of 3 right so we'll do square root of the answer uh, which is equal to in decimals if you have to write you may round it to 1.732 or whatever okay anyway I, I'm not doing the angle part you can do it perfect so that is first mistake which normally happens. Now let's take up another case and this time for the dot product. Now in dot product, one of the common mistakes is, let me take up an application. So what I will do here is take a ramp. Okay. So we say work done. So work done is an application of a dot product, correct? So let us assume that there is a body here whose mass is 10 kg right so that is what it is and let us say that this angle here is 25 degrees correct this angle here is 25 degrees so so what is the work done when object whatever this object is uh, when 10 kg mass slides one meter let's say one meter okay so so let's say this correct now in that case i mean i'm just keeping things very simple the idea is to share with you the mistakes which students do correct now what do you know about dot product is we know work done is displacement vector dot the force right now force in this case will be as you know equal to 10 kg weight means 10 times 9.8 meters per second right we'll die times 9.8 and so we have 980 newtons 98 I'm sorry so when you multiply by 10 98 newtons so you have to convert kg to kg weight or force right? displacement is given to you 1 meters no problem what is the angle so work done basically is the magnitude of displacement times magnitude of force times cos of angle now what is this angle what is this angle many students will just write 25. Now remember, the angle here is the angle between, so this is going exactly downwards, so this is 90 degrees, do you see that? So the angle is the angle between 
displacement and force now this angle here is what it is not 25 it is 90 minus 25 degrees do you understand that is what it is so this is the angle which you have to take correct so let's now calculate right i'll do 90 minus 25 first and then take cos of this right so the angle here is 65 degrees not 25 i hope you agree with me right so work done is a scalar quantity joules is the unit right you can say newton meter joules is the unit displacement of one so we can now calculate let me do calculate cos of this cos of our angle and we'll multiply this by the force 98 right since uh, so we get the work done as 41.4 joules you can write newton meter also do you understand this part so very important to understand the angle is not 25 degrees it is 90 minus 25 since that is the angle between the force which is acting downwards and the displacement which is acting in this so you have to place them tail to tail to find this particular answer is that clear to you right so i hope that is very useful to understand let me take another example where in cross product students will be doing mistakes now in cross product let me take a example of a paddle so let's say we have a cycle bicycle you can say right so so let's say that is the paddle okay this is my paddle now uh, let's say the distance here is uh, let's keep it I know one meter is too much let's say let's say it is 0 0.25 meters let us say right and a force is being applied at an angle of let's say it is being applied at an angle of uh, let's say let's make some angle okay doesn't matter uh, we'll make this angle as equal to um, 80 degrees okay now what is the torque so we need to find the torque which you know is a cross product of this displacement or radius you can say in this case cross the force now force is given to us let's say let's keep a force of 10 newtons so 10 newton force is being applied at an angle of 80 degrees to the pedal i mean you get my point as shown in the diagram now you're supposed to find the torque which angle should you be taking that is the question right so what you have to do here is if you take 80 degrees you will be wrong you'll be making a mistake right the angle actually is between this vector and the force so this is the angle which we have to consider so it is 100 degrees do you get the idea do you get the idea not 80 degrees and therefore what we get here is that the torque is equals to 0 0.25 that's the magnitude given to us Right, the formula is cross product that be sine of that angle times the force of 10 newtons times sine of 100 degrees do you understand now we have to multiply all this so 0.25 times 10 times sine of 100 degrees and that gives you the answer as let's say 2.46 newton meters as your solution do you see that so normally in a test paper we are not giving you straight angles to use right we are always trying to make you a mistake and that is how you have to see understand and solve so i hope these three examples help you so that you are in a position to get at least 90 percent plus in your own test i'm anil kumar feel free to share your comments and views and watch my next video 
where I'll take the test paper, all these questions, correct? If you like, you can always uh, share my videos and subscribe to them. Thank you and all the best.